It looks like it's official, ladies and gentlemen. We got the Snyder Cut coming to us via HBO Max sometime in 2021. Uh, Snyder Cut of Justice League, of course. So this has been an interesting journey, but we have the official announcement uh, with Warner Brothers, uh, with Zack Snyder, you know, reported by some of the big trades that this is going to happen. And some people have been speculating this actually leading up in the last uh, few months or so. So let's let's get down to all this. Let's break it down, because I think there's a section of people that care about this. I wouldn't say it's like a mass, you know, mob in the uh, global terms. But in the section of people that care about this, you seem to have people that want to make it a zero to 100 black and white situation where they're trying to say, hey, either you think it exists completely and that you want it released or you think it doesn't exist and you don't want to see it. And that's not the truth. Uh, I think after a while, most people that I wouldn't say most, I would say the rational people said, hey, this thing exists in an uncut or unfinished form. Like, uh, cause a cut can mean a lot of things. We won't go into that, but we basically were saying that, Hey, Snyder definitely shot his version, but it's not finished. It's not, you know, the visual effects aren't done. The music's not in there. The editing's not done. All these different things. And some people just took that as you saying, there's no Snyder cut. And it's like, bro, that's not what we saying. We're talking about two different cuts. You're just talking about an assembly cut you, and other people are talking about a finished cut. And so there's that. Now, for me, uh, again, I never said the cut didn't exist. I just said the cut's not finished. And Snyder said it himself, and you still have people arguing. Snyder said it's not done and that it would need money. And people were still trying to argue with you. Not that it existed, but that it was a full cut, and he told you. But anyway... So that was my stance. My second stance was, I didn't say they were never going to release it, but it was just like, why would they release it? That was always my question. Why would they release it? There was nothing to gain from releasing it and putting that much money into it. So I thought it was a very small percent chance that that would happen within that context, obviously. So now this is a different context. We got HBO Max getting ready to come out. And we know the streaming wars, quote unquote, are happening. And so everybody wants content, especially right now during the uh, quarantine. So uh, everybody's trying to find something big to uh, drive people to their channel. Uh, obviously, you had Disney Plus with The Mandalorian. Then they'll be coming with some MCU stuff. But um, with HBO Max, there's talks of a Green Lantern show and other stuff. But now this is a driver. Everything's about drivers that get people to bring their business. And so with HBO Max coming out, would it be in a priority for your streaming site? Now this makes sense. And again, like I said, in the last few months, there are many people I heard, fans even, that were just saying, like, it makes sense to do it with HBO Max. Now, here's the surprising part, because I'm not surprised they're going to do it when it benefits them by um releasing it to hbo max because you had people that just were convinced no just release it in theaters and so many people would go see it that's that's absolutely crazy that would not happen but this is less uh of a risk and definitely less uh, of an expense having to put it on hbo max than trying to put it in theaters especially when you don't know when theaters gonna open but even if they were this is less expensive, but it's still expensive for a movie for alternative version of a movie that already came out and didn't do great. This is an expensive en endeavor. So that's the surprising part. I think a lot of rational people thought that, hey, WB might just put the unfinished product out there since people want to see it. And honestly, they probably would have came to HBO Max to see it. But um, I got to give them credit. Um, we we still don't know the specifics, but I got to give them credit for even putting the money behind this. And there's numbers floating out about 20 million. I, those are all 
kind of rumors, basically. No one knows what the numbers are. And honestly, I doubt we ever fully find out. But as we get closer, I'm sure we'll get a better sense of the numbers. There's some people saying 20, some people saying as high as 30 to 40. So we don't know. All I know is that you have to spend all the money to finish it, which means you got to get a crew, which means you got to go by the union rules um, and pay for all the things that you have to there. You also have to pay, uh, or I would imagine everybody's contract is different, but for the main actors, you're going to have to pay them something because this is essentially a new movie. And even Zack Snyder said it's a completely different movie. Um, plus they had to sign off because you can't like, you can't shoot, a, you can't sign a, a actor or anybody to a movie and then not use the footage for that movie but then take that footage and make it a new movie that's you making two movies with them getting paid one so you can't do that so obviously they had to sign off on this and they were all behind Zack Snyder so not surprised about that but again it's just a lot of money that's got to go into doing this and so that was the surprising part for whatever reason Warner Brothers wants to put that money in there there's some people that think that that's coming from the HBO Max marketing budget I don't know how all the budgets they're doing it but either way they're putting a lot of money into it and so that's cool though that's cool I mean I think it would have been if it would have felt kind of like a little bit of a you know, uh, documentary if they did it unfinished, it wouldn't feel like a movie. But now that they're actually going to finish it and they're supposed to bring back the, uh, some of the cast to do new scenes. Yeah. This is actual. Well, we don't know if it's a movie either. Cause uh, for whatever reason, there's speculation that it might be a six part series. It might be, you know, all these different types of things. It might be a full director's cut. I, I got to imagine it's going to be a director's cut, but I could kind of honestly see if you did six parts and at the end of each part, you just had um, Snyder kind of talking about the process and then that leads to the next one. I don't know if he wants to cut it like that, but if he did, I'd be down. I mean, if you release it one week at a time, people will keep coming back. So, but we don't know yet. We don't. It's a lot of details. We don't know. We just know that everybody signed off on it and it's going to be coming in 2021. And again, the context has changed. Um, it's not the same context that it was before. So this makes sense. Them just randomly releasing it in the theater didn't make sense. Them just, you know, releasing it because there's a group of people that want to see it. That doesn't make sense. Um, I honestly, I again, I would have watched it if it was unfinished, but them releasing it unfinished would have been weird too. But they're putting the money into it, so um, I'm excited for Zack Snyder more than anything. Um, and it's funny, like the this, that's just how you know. I mean, people in general on the internet are just silly, but that's how you know a lot of the f uh, fandoms get ridiculous because I have people just arguing with me about uh the Snyder cut and all this silly stuff and even trying to tell me that I don't like Snyder and it's like bro are you kidding me like <laughs> you know you know how much crap I get for like in BVS and Man of Steel I love both of those movies own those movies I own all the DC movies even Justice League and so it's funny how people can attack you from both sides it's just absolutely ridiculous so I've always loved Zack Snyder I want to see his vision um, it's now my question is, um, it's interesting because we, when he did the, uh, BVS watch along, he kind of, in, in different times, he talked about his, uh, idea and there's a nice video out there. Maybe I'll link it in the description that, uh, really outlines what his five movie idea was and, I was very intrigued by it. And so I wonder with him really fully doing his own version of Justice League, what if it pops? Like, what if it not only like a novelty, like, yeah, we got the Snyder Cut, but like, what if people actually really like it and they want to know what happens next? Because right now the DCU is nothing. I mean, it's just a bunch of random movies right now. And Harley Quinn didn't do great. Um, they still filming Suicide Squad too, but Will Smith already left. I don't know. It's all up in the air. 
So I'm wondering, I've been screaming reboot forever, you know that, but I wonder if this pops hard. Could we kind of recircle back to the original DCU? That would be nuts. That would be absolutely nuts. But at the same time, what does Warner Brothers have to lose? Joker was his own complete separate thing. You got Oscar love. You did your thing. Um, the Batman is going in alone. Completely separate thing. You can get Batman going. I, although it would be weird to get Ben Affleck back and then have two Batman. But still, if you did, if if you got Ben Affleck back, if you got the crew back, people go nuts. So I just wonder if it pops hard, like legit hard. And they'll probably downplay it because it's streaming. So they could be like, well, it's not the same. But if it popped hard, I wonder if this somehow has a small percent chance of spinning back to the DCU. Who knows? Because he had ideas for that, uh, for those movies. And so, huh, I wonder. Anyway, go to the comment section. Let me know what you think. Uh, share it around, get the conversation started. Thumbs up, subscribe. And if you heard it, here's official canon.